So welcome back to the weekly NeoVim plugin video series. So this week we'll be covering UndoTree. Now UndoTree is a plugin that helps us visualize the undo history in a Vim file. And it can also uh, help us easily switch between the undo branches. Uh, but before I get started, I wanna thank um, H to the G for suggesting this awesome plugin. And uh, if you have a plugin that you would like to suggest as well and you would like for me to cover, then just uh, drop it in the comment below and uh, I'll try to cover it in a future video. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so here I am in my init.lua file. A lot of you are already familiar with this. Now to install UndoTree, I'm gonna be using a plugin manager called Lazy. If you're not familiar with Lazy, I recommend watching my video on the plugin manager Lazy. I'll try to link it up here on the top right. For me, I like to keep all of my plugin installation directives in a file called Plugins Lazy. So uh, let's go ahead into that file. I'll open up Telescope using space FF and then type in Plugins. There it is, Plugins Lazy. Um, I'll go all the way to the bottom. And you can see here I've already added undo tree. This is all I need. I just need to add that one line. And that'll tell Lazy to install undo tree. Cool. Well, uh, I also want to do something else. I want to persist all of my undo history across the NeoVim session sessions. So even though I've closed my Vim session, I want that undo history to persist. So I'm going to set that option. I like to keep all of my option configurations in a file called settings.lua. So I uh, opened up telescope there to open up settings.lua. And at the very bottom, you can see here, there's this one line, vim dot o dot undo file equals true i'm going to uncomment that using the comment plugin that's gcc save that file and that's all i really want for now so let's go ahead and restart neovim cool all right so um i've already installed undo tree so you can see here if i go into command mode and um, hit or type in lazy to open up lazy plugin manager. I can see here that undo tree has been installed. Undo tree. Cool. All right. So now let's get into some usage. Usage is going to be very easy because there's not too many commands to cover, but we'll try to cover the basic ones. All right. So how does untree? undo tree look to open undo tree you go into command mode and type undo tree toggle and of course you can map this to a hockey if you'd like cool all right so you can see a new pane has opened up here on the left and you can configure this of course you know to have different layouts um, according to your preference um, so what we've done is uh, we've opened up the tree the undo tree all of these numbers represent changes that i've made across the file and this bottom pane here is a diff of those changes to navigate these changes you would just do it so like you do it like how you would do any other buffer so i'm going to go ahead and move to that buffer and use j to go down hit enter to revert the file back to that change now you can see here we're at seven. All right, so let's let's go to six. See if there's anything interesting there. I don't see anything interesting on six. Let's go to five. Looks like we've added local execute or we've deleted local execute on five. So if we wanted to go back one, uh, we go to four and you can see here local execute is back. And uh, three, let's see what happens with three. Uh, hardly any changes there, just deleted some white space, deleted some white space, and we can go all the way back to the original file. So that's pretty cool. And this is what I have now. This is current my current file 8. To open up the help menu, you pressed question mark. So with question mark, you can see all of the options that you have available. Um, so you can use these key mappings to move to the next undo you can toggle the diff panel with capital D. You can toggle relative timestamps. You can clear undo history. Uh, you can close the undo panel with Q. And question mark is just to toggle the quick help. So that's 
pretty much it. Oh, you can also do Control R to redo and U to undo. So that's pretty basic. Let's uh, close that. Hit, I think it was uh, U for undo. So that'll go back and that'll undo my changes. And then what was it? Control R to redo. That's pretty cool. All right, that's awesome. So all of these uh, changes, all of this undo tree will persist across sessions. What does that mean? Well, let's close this, close that, and reopen init.lua. And also let's open up undo tree again. So pretty cool. You can see here that all of my changes have persisted across that Vim session. So I don't need to worry about losing, you know, hundreds or thousands of lines of code anymore. Everything is saved on disk, which is a neat feature. I loved it so far. Honestly, I didn't even know this existed on, you know, on Vim until recently. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. That covers NeoVim. Uh, I'm sorry, UndoTree. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stick around for the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. We like to do this every week. So um, yeah, thank you very much.